Hi everyone, it's been a few months since I've uploaded anything to my YouTube channel. For the past few months I have been extremely busy. But recently I've been working on a 3D printed radio control boat. It's a very small boat, it's a 174th scale. It has a working servo that controls a rudder. It also has water cooling. This is something I created by wrapping 4mm copper tubing around a tool that I made. As you can see here, I'm testing it in the sink and it works quite well. The boat was designed in Blender 3D using a lot of curves and Boolean modifiers. I've got the boat to the point where I just have the hull finished. I haven't yet 3D printed the top part of the boat just yet. So I decided to print out a little top that will keep the water out. It also has a seal that is in between the hull and the top piece that will it actually keeps the water out. So I decided to take the boat to a local park and just give it a test just to see whether or not I should continue with the project because weight was a huge issue the weight of the components versus the size of the boat i mean as i said before it's a really small boat i designed the hull myself i don't have any experience with hull design or boat design i just thought i would go with something that might work so anyway i take it to the park and in this video i'm just testing the boat out and from what you can see it's definitely not fast but then again, the boat was never designed to go fast, as it uses a displacement hull. One of the things I learned while building this little boat is that displacement hulls are speed limited by the physics of water. And it doesn't matter how much power you give a boat with a displacement hull, it won't go any faster. I won't get into the details in this video, but I will try and cover them in the main video that I produced for this particular boat where I will cover everything I did to create it. I decided to take the boat to a few different parks with ponds just to see how it performs in different places as I want to learn as much as I can from building this boat. Actually, this small pond that you can see here was one of the main inspirations for building the boat because I was thinking how cool would it be to have a tiny boat that moves through a relatively small pond. Here I decide to take off the temporary cover just to see if any water got inside the hull. And it's good to see that no water leaked inside, keeping all the components nice and dry. So let me know what you think in the description below. What do you think about this boat? Please enjoy the rest of the video. Also, like and subscribe to see more. Thank you.
Oh. Huh?